first off of the day, Ubi E3. We've got a new venue this year. The last couple of years they were in a, in a lounge cell, but today they've got this nice big underground warehouse. It looks really, really cool with a Paradise 2.6. Uh, so, so this is context so as well. Far. This is Paradise's first E3 as a whole. So he's going to have a ton of experience. So we're, what do you think of this space so far? So far, it's pretty nice. I think, you know, the setup's nice. It looks good, but come, come around here, come around. This isn't even all of the snacks, right? But they hook this up with the snacks, okay? All right, all right let's talk us through the snacks. All right, we got, ooh, ooh, we got some chewies. We got, we got the crisp variety. We got some fruit if you're feeling a bit fruity. We got the soda pops. We got the, the nut butt. <laughs> <laughs> the chips <are> <laughs> Oh my God, what do we have? What do we have? <laughs> the nut butter. <laughs> the what? What's it called? The nutter butter. Come on, guys. Come on, what were you thinking? <laughs> So, first part of the day is with a game called Roller Champions. Now, I don't know much about this. It was initially sold to me as Rocket League-like IP. I'm assuming it's just Rocket League with rollerblades, but we'll find out. Look at them go! Oh, amazing play! So, the first game we played, we lost. They scored a five point goal, which is one, a whole game winning goal basically. But it invigorated us for the next two games, which you guys will see on the channel at some point. We, we brought him, home the I victory. I asked him what you thought of Roller Champions. He just gives me a roll down of like how he did in the match. Like. The game was really fun. Uh, when, when I first started playing, I thought it was missing like abilities or powers or some, something flashy, something that would be kind of a game changing move. But when you get into the game, you realize that actually there's, there's quite a lot more to it. Do you think of it? I actually like it. I don't know if it's going to catch on, but I kind of prefer it to uh, Rocket League, to be honest. Like, mm. I don't know. I, I liked it. I thought it was kind of fun, but that's like a 10 minute E3 demo. So, you know, can't always believe the hype. <laughs> <laughs> Queuing to go into the Xbox conference in the Sahara Desert, aka the queue outside in the in the burning burning sunlight. But it's worth it because it's going to be good. And forgive my <laughs> forgive my attire. I don't know wear my hat like this, but I need to protect my neck. So uh, you know. Why you wear your hat like that all the time? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, Get no, mated. No, no, no. I mean, I don't wear hats often, but when it comes to here, like, look, I, I, if, I, if I burn my head, we're going to be it's going to be emotional out here. So going for that ash ketchup. Exactly right. C2-6. Lost Odyssey 2! Every year. Every year, Lost Odyssey 2. Every year, two. this Come guy on. prays for Lost Odyssey. Every they year. They will give it to me. We don't this get year. It. But Halo, though, that's what I'm excited for. I'm not gonna, uh, like, I want to see what's going on. I really hope we get some new, fresh Minecraft content. incredibly exciting i just like the console evolution the console journey so whatever it is i just want to see those specs i really want to see like what the third party spec is because that's something that xbox have been trying to do more of as they've been kind of acquiring studios and stuff so i really want to see how they're doing there have been some unfortunate leaks that i've seen i've tried not to look at them to be honest i want to actually see them in the conference they come up oh my goodness it's gonna be lit Xbox live for this exact moment. That was uh, that 
there was a lot of games Hello, there. Hello, everyone. Mate, that was that was. Hello. That was Hello. A, that was a yo good, that was yo. There, good there was some really good stuff, but like I I completely. Like, so there's a few things that we you know unfortunately knew about because of the leaks, but when they showed Fantasy Star Online 2. I was that. I lost uh, no, that one. That one I don't. I don't remember hearing about. But yeah, yeah. That's a that big, pretty big one. Like for all the weebs out there. You see but them, so. the, the crazy thing is, right? Like I was legit. So you know, you know Bowie. Yeah, Bowie Alexander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was legit speaking to him the other day about like oh, how much we missed Fantasy Star Online, yeah. and then they announced it. Like what? <laughs> I mean, it's next year. But yo, that is an incredible game. Ooh, that Tales of game. New from software oh, yeah, game. Tales of. Yeah. Oh, I forgot yeah, about yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. The Ninja Theory, the Ninja Theory game, the art style for that looks incredible. We're gonna go into showcase now and like places. I don't know. I don't know what's playable. Some stuff obviously was just announced. So I don't know. But yeah. so obviously Halo. It's yeah. Very cool to see some Halo stuff. Stole it from two six. <laughs> the one that stands out the most has got when Keanu Reeves comes out for yeah. Cyberpunk. Oh. That was that was definitely really cool. <laughs> That was probably my highlight moment. For yeah, sure. Yeah. The Tales of game. I'm not really a Tales of person, but like, yeah, Halo. Even though, because you guys know Halo, so I'm gonna choose something else. But like, the Tales of game. Look, the Bang Bang. Mm. That all that weeby stuff. Fantasy Star Online. The new uh, Lord of the Rings uh, rip-off <laughs> game from <laughs> Miyazaki and the Mandem. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to see what Project Scarlet is gonna be able to do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We have to talk for a minute about the seven developer studios that they partnered with and one of which being Smilegate which means that we might be getting some really good MMOs. Yeah, so really like, when they when they announced it, right? So, so so Phil said the other day he was like he actually said he was going to Korea to like do something. I don't remember we tweeted him. We're like, yo, go on, go and pick up Lost Ark. It wasn't quite Lost Ark. They, they're bringing Crossfire, but Crossfire like came before Lost Ark, so maybe it's the natural step to get in there. Maybe. I, I think he had to screw us that deal. He didn't want Crossfire. He wanted Lost Ark, but you had to get Crossfire in there beforehand. <laughs> so guys, Lost Ark for the West did it easy. It's super bakey in here. It's a really nice place. It's called the Belasco yeah. Theatre. It looks uh, like... Pretty epic. He's got a crazy ceiling, <laughs> crazy like, architecture everywhere. Very impressive building, but given that it's an uh, older building, it's also uh, lacking in air conditioning. So the next hour is going to be uh, sweaty. Hold on to that hatred. I do. They've got like a whole full like Midgar like setup here, and on the other side they've got like some Avengers like uh, uh, compound thing. It looks insane. Dude. I'm just tweeting because we've seen the collector's edition like uh, statue that you get with Final Fantasy VII remake. Day one, copied. Get in yeah? the pocket. You know what's up. All right. So today, despite the fact that we've had numerous activities for the past few days, today is technically speaking day one of E3. The actual E3 show itself opens up, and uh, I'm excited. Just watched Nintendo's Direct this morning, and oh my gosh, I am so gassed. Like you guys know me, like I love Nintendo, right? And oh, they announced like a sequel, not not a DLC, a sequel to Breath of the Wild, a sequel to one of the best games ever made. Like what? Like, you guys know me. You've you known me long enough, right? But Zelda is my jam. Zelda is like my, above all else, Zelda is my number one series, closely followed by Monster Hunter. So to get a sequel for, and in that trailer, right, the skeletal head that kind of like clicked, I swear that was Ganondorf. So, whew, this is, uh, I'm excited for that. But anyway, yeah, heading in with the squad. First appointment of the day, we have uh, Nintendo. So, gonna be jumping in there, 
testing out some different games. I know some of the stuff that's playable, I'm not too sure what we're able to record, but that's the first thing of the day. And then we've got other things like Borderlands, uh, Watch Dogs, Monster Hunter today. So it's gonna be a good day, it's gonna be a very, very good day. Gym. Kind of like the, the water gym is the one that you can play at the E3, so it's kind of got the, the blue color scheme and whatnot. But yeah, it's basically like a, an actual trainer gym stadium for the, uh, for the setup for that one. Got all the different screens over here, playable. It's kind of the public area, so we've got a lot of things like Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, what up? Hello. But then over this way, the business booth we're going to go, which is uh, let's just get on and capture and do all the good stuff. So let's go. Paradise, what do you think? Since, since this is your first time like walking through the halls first of E3. First E3, what's going wow. wow! A little behind the scenes, we are chilling on the stairs. Very glamorous right now. Finished up uh, recording Nintendo, finished up recording at uh, Borderlands, and now we have like five minutes in between this and our next session. So, currently rendering a video, try and get that out for you guys as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, today's, today's been like, it's well paced, but like, it's just been non stop. And we're, already, we're almost at the end of the day already, so Ice Mall's up next. It's gonna be good. Charge Blade's gonna happen. Charge Blade versus T Rex, the rematch. Yo, yo, e uh, E3's pretty big, right? It's, it's way bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, We've yeah. In, there's like two massive halls. The booths like are like the size of a house in some cases. And uh, some of them have like these massive crazy setups. The Final Fantasy VII had, we couldn't see inside, but you know there was some sick stuff inside. And the Cyberpunk one. And what about the Monster Hunter one, the massive Volcano? We're gonna go there and we're gonna get some pictures later, which you guys will maybe see on, uh, on the socials. So stay tuned for that. We are just on the end of Monday now. First day of E3 finished. We're here uh, about to get some food. Yeah, we haven't yeah. eaten, but we've been drinking, so it's, uh, <laughs> we made a horrible mistake, guys. Yeah, we haven't eaten since like half nine. It this is, is what happens when you go to E3. You have a bunch of meetings, you go to different uh, uh, like stuff that you have to yeah, see. Yeah, gameplay so things, capture, capture events, capture events and talking like to people. Yeah. And so you don't really get time for food. We went, we went straight back to make videos for you guys. So a lot of like the most kind of stuff went out today. Um, Borderlands gameplay, uh, a bunch of other things as well. But we were trying to make sure that we had like, the best content for you guys. So we skipped food and went straight <laughs> to drinks, you know? But so now, boys a little bit turned. 